Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our For Queen and Country series. We are working slowly but surely on, as I said, at, I think at the beginning of the last episode, on building up an army that is worthy of heading down into France. And number one, we're, we're actually going to try and colonize this shore at the same time that we uh, invade France, because I just think that would be the right move to make. Uh, it would give us a defensive area, an actual uh, an area to actually, you know, garrison some of our troops, especially archers, and uh, help protect them as they establish a front. But also, we have our missionaries ready to start converting cities, so let's go ahead and see. All right, this one's going to be able to come here. Can't quite convert London yet. We'll send this one down to Exeter. So these are Protestant missionaries. These, This is the result of Norway bringing their religion into our country. Uh, let me just point out really quickly what the benefits of Protestantism are. Protestantism. Now, Jesuit education gives us the ability to purchase campus and theater square district buildings with faith. I usually get this. The Meeting House, extra faith and production, as long as you have a temple already. I usually get this. And then, of course, the lay ministry. Uh, each holy site or theater square district in a city following this religion provides one faith or one culture, respectively. So holy sites are additional faith. Theater squares are additional culture. Culture's gonna, that culture bonus is going to help us catch up in that way. And then, of course, missionaries and apostles are 30% cheaper to purchase. So all in all, not bad that we had Protestantism. Uh, why am I saying that weirdly? Protestantism spread to our, <laughs> spread to our nation by Norway uh, because it, you know, it is, in fact, the re if there is a religion of England, it is Protestantism, you know? So, that is historically appropriate in its own way, with a twist, because it came from Norway. We are also five turns away from finishing the Great Library. With a little bit of luck, we will get that wonder, and that will give us a little bit of a tech boost, which will be very helpful. I think it's going to be time to head down there pretty soon. I might need to go ahead and start moving troops. Let me go ahead and send a few troops down there because we need to take care of this barbarian encampment in the meantime. Okay, it was also pointed out to me, and I appreciate this because originally I had a commenter point out that I had this barbarian encampment. I was like, I know I've got one there, but they were actually talking about this, <clears throat> excuse me, this one. Um, so you might remember last episode, there was a moment where I heard the barbarian encampment sound and I was like, where is it? And it kind of camouflaged itself in up here, but it is in fact right there. So we're going to need to make sure this city's defended, but... Not quite yet. <laughs> we still need some basic buildings here. Um, we're going to go for the granary first, so this city can continue to grow. And also, if I go ahead and put you on production focus, no, you're not ready to get a bonus from that just yet. What about Edinburgh? All right, Edinburgh is going to grow a little bit more slowly, but build faster, and that watermill will help it grow faster. So we'll go with that. And then Inverness, uh, of course, they're not going to benefit from a bonus yet. So now let's go ahead and use our missionary again. And this missionary is going to come all the way down to Exeter, convert. It's going to take some a couple of tries to get these cities converted up. They're not the smallest cities. All right, we're going to meet Egypt pretty soon. Unless Egypt is one of the civs that got defeated, because we have had a few defeats. I think there have been two. All right, we are four turns away now from the Great Library. I'm optimistic now about the Great Library. I think we actually have a shot at it. Meanwhile, we've got a builder finishing up in Leicester, so that's going to help us continue to make things better there. Let me go ahead and build a... Yep, we're going to build a settler, and this settler is actually going to go down and settle down here following these troops. So we're not going to get too close to France's borders because we don't want to piss them off. We're going to piss them off enough when we settle a city on their borders, but uh, we're going to do our best to hold off from provoking them until the last possible second. Okay. Oh, good. Exeter is now converted. What about London? Not quite. Hang on. <laughs> oh, we've got some Buddhist influence in London. That's why. A little bit of extra resistance. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and send my best archers down there as well. Just to make sure I'm defending the city with everything I've got. I'll leave these troops here for now. I don't want to... Again, I don't want to load up the territory with... Oh, hey! Okay, 
Okay, so we've met Pericles. But yeah, I don't want to uh, cram too many troops down on that area. Exchanging information on our capitals. I'm not going to do that because of what happened last time I tried to exchange information on capitals on this map. It hasn't happened every time, but when I tried to do it with Scythia, Scythia is so far uh, east that it kind of borked the map a little bit and I had to reload. And I don't want to have to keep doing that. So we're going to actually avoid doing those things. Three turns away from the Great Library. I'm starting to feel good. We still don't have any more than just the two trade routes that I have access to so far, so that's not good. But I'll make deal. Alright, so Pericles is not displeased with me yet, but at some point he will be, because that's just the way of the world. Um, tell you what, let's send you over here, have you use your last charge on London. We want to try and get Prosphenism spread there. Meanwhile, I am hoping to run into Egypt pretty soon. Down to the wire, just two turns left. Our troops are arriving on France's shores. Again, I just need to keep them away from that border. Then we're going to settle right here, where we did last time. It's a good spot. Hopefully there's not a city like right here. There shouldn't be, because the borders would be further along. Uh, and we should be able to establish kind of a beachhead for our war against France. Oh, crap. That wasn't good timing. All right, well, at least I can fire on them from here and get some experience for these archers. Meanwhile, these guys are on their way down. These archers, of course, are more experienced. Also, I've just remembered some of my units don't have the... Hang on. Okay. I'm looking for the units that have the bonus from... Okay, I don't think any of these units actually have the bonus from up here. So at some point, this is kind of the crappy thing. I mean, I have this wonderful, <laughs> wonderful natural wonder here. That's this, this amazing natural wonder that gives me additional attack power. Plus five combat strength for any units that go up there. Um, but I'm pretty sure, hang on. Yeah, this, this unit's not showing it either. I'm, I can't remember. I remember looking at units earlier and saying, okay, that's where you see this but now I don't see it anywhere. And I feel like this swordsman was one of them. Plus seven combat strength versus melee and ranged units. That's just the promotion level. So where is your bonus? It's not down here. I could have sworn I looked at this somewhere. If you happen to know where it is, let me know in a comment. Because I feel like I've... I really do feel like I've looked at this, and now I have no idea where. I don't want to waste too much time in the episode looking for it. But anyway, uh, we'll figure that out later. We're one turn, one turn away from the Great Library. Uh, we've got two charges left on this builder. Let's make the best use of them possible. Uh, how about we come down here and build a farm, just to help London grow a little faster with the pop that it's got. And then maybe come over here and uh, dig up that marsh for similar reasons. Egypt, where are you? I would think you'd have a unit somewhere along here. Oh, not quite done yet. Oh, our galley's done healing. That's nice. So, I guess... You know what? I'm going to keep this galley right here. That's what we're going to do. All right, now, here we are. The great turn... Great library. <laughs> great library is about to finish up, and then we've got some barbarians to kill, but they're going to die pretty fast. Because we have some help from Brussels here, killing some of the units. Is that a Brussels unit? Yeah, it's a Brussels archer. Killing some of their units, and then we have other units landing that are capable of firing back. Oh, interesting. They actually have... I knew that was an archer unit, but like we part of me had... We can roam the bloated stacks of the Library of Alexandria, that. where all imagination and knowledge are assembled. We can recognize in its destruction the warning that all we gather will be lost. Wonderful. Okay. So we got the Great Library. We have gotten a boost to our knowledge of engineering as a result of that. So let's have another look for those of you curious who don't remember what the bonus to the Great Library was, because I don't quite remember either. Great Library. There we go. Plus two science, plus one great scientist points per turn, plus two uh, great works of writing slots. And we, of course, got it because we, we are not quite in the Renaissance era yet. So now if we build a campus next to that, well, we're already actually getting a bonus to our campus as a result of that. So we put it in the right spot because we put it next to a campus. So that's going to help us in more ways than one. Now, we need to go ahead and start building some support units as well. So let's get a siege tower started in London. We're going to send them down to help out. Now, ooh, Edinburgh, you're going to need... Honestly, I still need a builder at Edinburgh, don't I? 
to help improve its production. Yeah, I'm going to go for a builder. And then next turn we're going to start building districts in Edinburgh. Alright, let's build a farm there. Not tanny. So feudalism. Alright, let's get these guys some experience. And then finish these. Oh. Oh, not quite. I thought that last arrow was going to do it. But this definitely will. Good night. This will put us right next to the barbarian encampment. And we can't quite land, unfortunately, with our archer that's on the way down. Because the other archer was blocking them. Okay, still haven't encountered Egypt. Interesting. I would think she would have reached this shore by now. Very good. So, of course, of course, Norway likes to see a strong navy. Because they respect naval powers. They have the ability to set sail from very early in the game. We're almost at turn 250. It's hard to believe. But we're not quite as far along in history as you would be in other games being at turn 250. Which is the nice part. Okay. Let's go ahead and head over here. We're going to empty that out and see if we can get some get London closer to 10 pop. Because 10 pop is going to give us access to another district. And another district would be wonderful. Oh, sweet. Decisive victory right now. Good night. And promotion available. That's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Ooh. Oh, we're on good terms with... Finally, I have an AI player that likes me. <laughs> that is a sight for sore eyes. Pericles already dislikes me because it's just the way the AI works in Civ 6. Um, all right, let's give him the tortoise promotion so they're a little bit easier or a little bit harder to kill. Okay. Um, if we haven't just met Arabia. Arabia might have defeated Egypt if they're here. If they're at the Nile, if they're at the mouth of the Nile, Cleopatra might be gone, and I will not pretend to be sad about that one little bit. <laughs> not one little bit. Not even going to be remotely sad. Right, we are four turns away from the settler being done. With any luck, we can go ahead and establish the Beachhead City this episode. It's going to take four turns, and then we got to get him down there, which is going to be another four, five, maybe six turns. Um, so it's really just ten turns away or so. And at the same time, we've got plenty of other progress going on. Uh, where? Oh, Barbarian's just checking out Inverness. Okay, so they might be about to send a Barbarian, um, a barbarian army there. That would not be good. Plus two production in the capital when producing units. That is tempting as hell. Which military envoy has the better suzerain bonus? City center buildings and encampment district buildings can be bought with faith. Hmm. I like that one. And there's no suzerain of this city state right now. So we're going to go for Carthage. If we can become suzerain of them, we're going to get extra trade slots, which is... That's an obvious choice if we can maintain suzerain status over them. Okay. Now this trader... Where are my current traders going? Let's look at our trade routes. So right now, there is Edinburgh to London. Um, yeah, let's let's keep this as our external. Now, if I trade with St. Quentin, it's a little bit less gold income, but it's extra production. We're going to take that. All right, now you hang out. You hang out as well. They're going to hold down the fort for the arrival of the settler. Let's clear this marsh. Get London some growth. That didn't help that much, but that's life right now. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Yeah, see, now that I've converted them away from production focus, London's going to grow a lot faster. What if I did that in Leicester? No, let's keep them on production focus for now. But London actually is better now. Now that so many tiles are improved, uh, it's actually doing better if I just have a general no focus on London. I could do a food focus if I wanted to, but that actually wouldn't be any better. 
in the current situation. All right, next turn. I am so happy we got that great library. That's going to be helpful. We need to do everything we can to stay caught up. All right, interesting. So Arabia wants a trade deal. They're going to give me open borders. Tell you what, let's um, let's do what we did before. Let's let's just give them, let's say, fifty gold as a way to sweeten the pot. And I don't need to open borders with them either. So let's accept the deal. So we just increase the value of our side and decrease the value of their side. So that should theoretically make the AI happy, right? I'm experimenting. I said I would do this a few episodes ago just to see the different things that you can do to encourage these characters to be more friendly. Uh, what if we send a delegation? No, we cannot accept. Of course not. Ugh. Yeah, stop rolling your eyes at me, you jerk. Um, what about Pericles? Can I send a delegation to you? Athens declines. Of course it does, because you don't like me. Okay, good. I can send a de delegation to Germany. That's helpful, because I want to have somewhat good relations with them. Yeah, I don't think Cleopatra's in the game, guys. I think Cleopatra got defeated, which, again, totally fine by me. I do not like Cleopatra. She gets on my nerves. Very, very easily. I mean, she's a fun opponent to have in the game, but her the way her character is represented is uh, just obnoxious. Medieval era in 1000 AD. So we We're are... all apprentices in a craft where no one ever becomes a master. We are behind if we're in the medieval era in, in, that, Ameri uh, in that amount of time. So we need to catch up. Defense is superior to opulence. Okay, we actually just finished our research and our civic in the same turn. So yeah, we are not as bad as Poland, but there are definitely... There's some civilizations ahead of us. There are five civilizations in total ahead of us. We are not in a good spot. Let's go ahead and go for engineering next. It's only going to be, be seven turns away. Then we get to choose a civic now. Let's go for theology so we get access to the temple. That's going to help us build our meeting places, which will help us get caught up as well. Now let's go for... Okay, our settler's almost done in Leicester. That's handy. And London's about to grow, which is quite good. When that finishes up, we might be able to build an additional district in London. Your progress towards civil service has advanced considerably. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Whoa, what happened to my... There we go. The grid went away. I like having my grid. All right, so let's come down here. It's going to take eight turns, a little bit longer than I thought. But well, that's fine. Lester, you need... Mm, let's go ahead and do another siege tower. Let's get some siege towers down there, because we're going to need to go to war pretty quickly. And we're going to try and churn through the turns to get the settler down there to establish, again, our beachhead. And hopefully we can uh, establish a settlement in Bordeaux again. That would be nice, because then we'd have wine in our territory. We could try that. Doesn't look like... France has done anything different than it did last time. It doesn't look like Spain has come up in this direction. Okay, barbarians are officially approaching Roscommon. But we can buy an archer. Aha! Okay, London. You can build a district. That is excellent. So, I'm thinking industrial zone first. But we, we badly need a theater square to stay caught up. Otherwise. Tough decisions. Oh, man. That's a good spot, but it's going to eat up some of our food production in London. I hate that. We need to do this, though. In order to really catch up, I need to make sure I'm on top of civil production as well as everything else. All right, let's move this unit down here. It's going to take six turns. And then... I, th I think we're going to get this down in this episode. Ah, you're not happy that I'm talking to Carthage, are you? Shut up. I don't care that you're not happy. You're far away from me. You are not a threat. Yet. <laughs> Greece conquers all of Europe and then beats me up just for saying that. Because that would be my luck. Notice that uh, Saladin still hates me, even though I gave him a very favorable trade. So, I don't know what to do to make AIs more uh, friendly to me. I feel like those mechanics do still need balance. And I won't, I won't go on a rant about it this time, but that's 
my current suspicion. Right, we're near Cyprus at the moment, and headed around the Turkish Peninsula, if you're curious where exactly that is. That is Syria, very near the site of Palmyra in the real world there. Okay, Exeter's almost done with their barracks, which is great news. Extra production and housing there now. And can we fire on you guys? No, because you're across the freaking river. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's go ahead and go for uh, the lighthouse next. That's the obvious choice, I think, in Exeter. And Edinburgh also has a choice, and it's time for that district. Well, let's... Another theater square would probably be best. So let's go ahead and build that right, let's say, here. Okay, and this builder can come down here, improve their sheep. Then our settler... Why are you doing that? I just want you to come to the same spot I've been telling you to go to. Yeah, France is not going to be happy with me. But uh, they, as I like to say, are just going to have to deal. Because I don't have a choice. I've got to start settling down there and procuring some land for England. <laughs> are you uh, are you not happy with me, Kaiser? Actually, that's the German pronunciation. Right? That is the German pronunciation. Now I'm at a loss. I'm like, wait a minute. How did the Romans pronounce Caesar? I should know this. Because I don't think it was actually Caesar. Oh, right, I think it was slightly different. If you know, feel free to tell me in a comment. I might find out at some point in the next day or two. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get a farm built. We're going to need that. And then finally, yep, we're heading around the Turkish Peninsula. Very good. Next turn. Settler is on land. That's perfect. So in just a few turns, we're going to have this city established. And I do want to try and settle Bordeaux if I can. So we're going to crank out another settler. Maybe in Leicester? Possibly? Alright, so we've got a couple of theater squares building. Alright, where are you needed most? I guess we could go ahead and improve those fish. Copper would be handy for gold reasons. And would give us a mine. Yeah, let's go for that, because we've already got a couple of farms nearby. We've got plenty of food production for Edinburgh. Uh, let's leave you where you are, just so you can defend the city and not get carried away chasing units that might lead you astray. Settler is... oh my god, they're so close, but they've got woods to travel around. Spain does have some units up on France's border, so I wonder if France and Spain are about to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Let's check their relationship information, shall we, once the turn cycles? Oh no! Barbarians! Leave me alone. Normal people believe that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, it doesn't have enough features yet. <laughs> I, I don't think I've actually seen that quote before. That's excellent. All right, so... Um, yeah, what is your diplomatic relationship right now? You are... You, wow, you are not on good terms with a lot of people. So that's good. I like that. Um, okay. I was sending a delegate. I was going to try and send a delegation just trying to buffer them against what we're about to do. Because they're not going to be happy. Alright, I'm definitely going to go for machinery because having some crossbowmen in this war is going to be virtually essential. Now, Inverness, you're going to need a water mill. And you're, you're going to need some defense units, actually. Do we have... Um, I don't feel like those units are actually a threat, but I could be wrong. Let's see how it goes. Hey! Gorgo emi, havasileia sta spartas, ke hagemon ton helenon. Ha! Tis esi, tinas nikas hoios tesi angelein. So we have met Sparta. For those of you who missed it, I did in fact put Pericles and Gorgo in this game, so we have two Greeces. It is an honor to meet you, and we would love to sample your hospitality. So there's... Oh, interesting! Sparta controls Athens. That's Athena, right there. That's kind of cool, actually. So that might mean that, might mean that uh, we don't have complete map vision yet, but it, it might mean that uh, Sparta is the strong, stronger Greek faction. I like it. Very appropriate. I personally can't wait for them to add uh, Byzantium to the game. I want Constantinople to be a capital again, as it was early on. Okay, so I think Settler. Yeah, let's go for it. Because I want to go ahead and settle Bordeaux, if I can. 
All right, you come here. Perfect, they are ready to settle. France is going to hate me. Too bad. St. Nazaire's. All right, let's go ahead and put the archers in charge. And, and then we'll put the siege tower in town. I'm not going to have them. I'm just going to put them to sleep, but we'll keep them there. Now, this is the tough part. Um, I think Ancient Walls is probably the smartest initial choice because that city needs to be able to defend itself. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, of course, Catherine's not upset. Apologies. I will look elsewhere in the future, which is going to put the pressure on me a little bit of when I, se <laughs> when I settle Bordeaux because she's going to be mad that I broke my promise. So I think it's 10 turns, maybe 20 uh, for that whole thing like for the for the the test of the promise so to speak so if i wait it out maybe i can avoid pissing her off anymore let's remove these woods get some turns for the theater square and then down here we are going to do as much sailing as we can just to explore what's going on here so this is the island of um i'm gonna say gortina i'm using my rome total war map knowledge <laughs> You'd be surprised how playing a bunch of campaigns in uh, in Rome or Attila Total War gives you basic knowledge of some of the ancient names for these areas. All right, so uh, I guess see, I want to build districts here. I really do, but we need some of the basic buildings first. Let's go ahead and go for let's go for the water mill because so far they haven't really been able to threaten me. So I'm not going to go for the walls just yet, and then. We're going to go around here because we need to get around this island. And on that note, we're 26 minutes into the episode, so I will go ahead and cut this one here. And in the next one, we are going to, well, first of all, we're going to try and defend St. Nazaire. We're going to wait until the crossbowman uh, upgrade is ready. And then we're probably going to hit Paris uh, within the next episode or two because we have to. I've got to make some progress. I've got to catch them off guard. Particularly uh, Le Havre, if we can take this city. I think that's how to pronounce that. Um, if we can take that city from them, um, then... That would not only give us some border buffering, uh, but also it's it's a it's a weak city, you know. So if we can get around it, it's got a river next to it, so that's going to be a slight offensive challenge. Uh, but that's going to be a, a major objective. And then whatever city is right here as well, we're going to need to knock that out and maybe even try and take Paris. That would be the ultimate coup. But that's not necessarily my goal with our first war. We just want to get some territory from Paris first. So that's the plan. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New grand strategy or historical strategy videos air every day at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.